Assalamualaikum This is topic 4 Financial Forecasting and Planning Tutorial How to Prepare Cash Budget So what will you see here is to prepare cash receipt in the step 1 so let's begin all right armada senior berhad sales from december 2018 to may 2019 so this question provide uh, sales 250,000 Okay, you can see here 250,000, 180, 170, 200, 200, 200, 220, 175 and 12, 210. So the question is, you required to prepare the first quarter. So first quarter in the year is January, February and much however the tips to answer cash budget you need to put a month before and also two months after just in case we need to calculate the forward sales or backward sales let's back to our question so, in the first item, the first the firm is generate forty percent of cash sales, meaning that sales is hundred percent and forty percent is cash sale. So the another balance is a credit sales. Alright, so 100% is sales, 40% is a cash sales, and the balance is 60%. Alright, and then the another one, the another sentence con we can continue here is, the credit sales is normally will collected on an equal amount in each of two amount, two months following the sales meaning that if sales in the january so it will be collected credit sales in february and in march one month and two months after so sixty percent divided by two months equals amount two months following the sales so it's a 30 percent for one month so let's we begin our all right two hundred fifty thousand is in december so we record sale you see the gray area so this is uh, it's a actual or forecasted sale and then 180, 170, 220, 175 and 210 alright see 200 or 210,000 Ringgit. So, we start begin with the cash sales is a 40%. So, when you will focus about January, February and March. So, 180 multiplied by 40%, you will get 72 thousand all right okay 
and then we moving forward that is 170 multiplied by 40% is a 68,000 and then we move to the next the last month in the first quarter is 200 220 multiplied by 40 so you get 88% so you already finished the cal sales for January, February and March then the cash in January is 40% how about the balance of first 30% First collection of credit sales, 30% one month after sale. So, one month after sales. And then, the second collection of credit sales is 30%. Second month after sale. So, I advise you to do like this. You start 1st January, then you go for February, then you go for March. Alright, so we already complete January from cash sales to credit sales. So we proceed for February. So February 170, the another balance will be collected in March. And the another 30% is collected in April. However, we are not focused on April. So we no need to record the transaction on April. Alright. The tricky one is here, the December, 250 is cash, but how about the balance of 60%, the credit sales, so it's collected in January, Alright, and then the another balance will be collected on Feb. Well, so you will see the arrow. Even though we are not calculate this, but in working you need to sh to have a overview a month before, and also uh, the next month, All right? So, settle in terms of sales. So, we're moving forward for another question. So, the second item is a uh, purchases. But in the third item, you can see the firm is expected to receive. Meaning that people will give you cash flow in, cash inflow of 32000 in February and 11,000 in April so this is in another quarter so this is our first quarter so you need to record this as a rental income so this 32,000 as a rental income then you need to total from here 70,000 75,000 so you will get equal 140 147,000 and then you 
total this one this one and this one not this one this one is not a monetary value this is the only cash in flow right so one two three four so you will get two two nine then in March you total eighty eight thousand fifty one thousand fifty four thousand you will get one nine three thousand so you already answer in the part one that is total cash receipt if we continue in part two thank you